G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in, welcome to part 2 of setting up a streaming PC for my beloved Pioneer Cinema Wide Rear Projection Television and uh, what we're actually going to do with this is I'm going to show you the TV, alright, I'm going to show you the picture quality quickly and then we're going to get on to building up the computer system for it. Okay, so this is got this has got to be one of Pioneer's best ever televisions. This is Japanese made Pioneer, back when Pioneer were probably one of the best audio visual companies in the nineties. Uh, if you had a Pioneer TV, if you had a Pioneer high end sound system, people wanted to be your best friend. All right, so now I thought this was 55 inch. It's actually not. It's an ST, STD, uh, SD-50. So it's a 50 inch, not a 55 inch. All right, bring this up. I suppose I better turn on an input for it. So cinema wide. It'll come up. Okay, so you can see it is definitely CRT. I can't change the frame rate, unfortunately. But it is an absolutely beautiful, beautiful picture. That's going to start playing in a minute. Stop. Now you can see there I've got no TV here for some reason. It's got a poor signal down here, which is why I want to set up a stream. And as you can see here, I've got a Pioneer DVD player. I've got my LG VCR DVD combo. And my old, and believe it or not, this is what this VHS used to get used for. This is a, uh, what is this, a Sanyo, isn't it? Yeah, it's a Sanyo. Um, what is that? VHR 290 VHS uh, forehead hi-fi. And this used to be what I just record music to. But I want to be able to use this, okay, to watch TV on okay I want it on in the background and as you can see there I can't either that's tuners stuffed or whatever this thing has multiple different outputs uh, and inputs on it right we've got two SCARTs S video um, component and standard uh, composite with RCA now this is only a analog tuner all right but what we're going to do is use this computer now this is the ideal hardware to do this with all right and for those that were on the IRC on uh, Thursday you'll understand why I was knee-deep in boxes we have a Intel Core 2 Duo I don't know how fast it is but I have two graphics cards I can use. I've either got this one, which has got S-Video, or I've got another one that just has a composite video out, which is exactly what I need. In here, as you can see, we have a massive ASUS. I believe this is an ATI Radeon card. We have two gig of RAM. We have an Intel Core 2 Duo on a gigabyte motherboard. Now the motherboard is a, what have we got there? A GA-EG31M-S2, dual channel DDR2 um, system with a Seagate, standard, just ordinary Seagate 7200 hard drive in it and a optical drive, I believe it's DVD. Yeah, it is. Right, but I'm not going to need that because obviously I've got the DVD player in it. Now, what you want to do in this case, 
is ideally I want to run S video. Now, why do you want to run S video? Because when you're talking about analog picture, all right, now a lot of people are probably going to say I'm wasting my time with this because analog picture's terrible backyard and it's horrible. There are three levels to good quality analog picture, all right? Your first level is the good old composite, okay? That's that's just your ordinary, all your video signals mixed into one lead, all right? From that, you had S-Video. And from S-Video, you had component, which is your R, G, and B inputs, all right? Most people who understand audio-visual will understand what I'm talking about. The thing is with this television, not only does it have a full sound system in it, it's about a 50 watt sound system in this thing, it also has cinema wide audio and virtualized crystal clear surround sound. Now it's virtual surround sound, but it's a room filling sound. And this is typical of Pioneer's audio systems at the time. Crystal clear audio. And with this thing, this was designed to run on something like that, a four head or six head super VHS or high quality VCR, all right? Really high quality VCR um, to watch videos on or Laserdisc. These things make a Laserdisc look like a DVD on a panel television. Now, the one thing I don't have, which I've always wanted, is a Pioneer laser disc. Well, I'm never going to have the money to get one, unfortunately. Um, at least one in perfect working order. Now, ideally, you'd want, you know, in my case, I'd want the Pioneer that's got the laser disc and the DVD in it. Now, my elderly next door neighbour bought this in the mid 90s. It cost him something like ten or twelve thousand dollars at that stage. These weren't cheap, okay? These are, to give you an idea, it'd be like buying a AK 80 inch television now, if you want a price in, price in comparison, all right? So what we're doing here is, this is gonna be what I use. As you can see, I mean, if you get rid of the flickering because the um, refresh rate of the camera versus the television, what we're going to do is we're going to build this up with a 32-bit operating system on it, all right? Because I've only got two gig of RAM there. Each of these is a one gig stick, okay? Small hard drive, and I've got two graphics cards to pick from. Now, I've got my... I'm, I'm hoping I've found my S-Video lead. If I haven't, I'm going to have to use the composite out, unfortunately. The other thing I'm going to have to do also is get my... Three and a half mil to RCA jack. Now, you can sort of cheat with this, all right? And what we can do is I, whoop, I can use my um, RCA S video to SCART adapter, if I wish, and run everything off the SCART input, which I think is how the DVD, actually, that is exactly how the DVD is plugged in because AV1's on the SCART plug. Now, that's Euro SCART. Full size SCART, all right? It's not mini SCART, it's full size SCART. That's one option that we can do. The second option is I run S video into SCART, or the third option is S video to S video, all right? I don't have a output card that has component on it, unfortunately. So that's what we're gonna do. So that's the hardware. That's the rear pro. Um, and what I'm banking on, I guess you could say, is I've got a keyboard and mouse that I can use with this. But basically, it's going to be used for streaming TV, streaming whatever I want to stream, essentially. That's the idea behind it anyway. So in part three, we will organize the hardware, find all my cables, install the system, and then in part four, we'll get it ready to connect up to the computer. Hopefully, it's only a four-part video, but it could be a few parts. Um, the other thing I want to show you too, if I can bring it up from here, but I think I actually need... Uh, I need the remote. 
I think. Yeah, I'll do. Let's see him put select. Damn. Um, mum, 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 mum. So you got cinema wide, natural wide, natural wide, cinema wide, and that's AB front, right? Which is these four here, which is the S video and the component, uh, composite video in. There's the old analog. <coughs> Excuse me. And there's AV1 cinema wide, which is actually on the SCART. So basically, that is what I need to do. And you can see here that the convergence, it's almost right. I've got a little bit of green a bit high. You can't see it here, but green's just a little bit too high on the convergence, which we'll obviously set up once we get the computer ready to go. So there we are. All right, stick around for part three. Have a good one.